Told you, my wife is dope in real life, not just on social media. She's fucking dope. I love you, baby. <laughs> morning um yes i have a bonnet on and i'm outside monique what's good hey y'all it is i was about to say april 1st it ain't that it ain't it ain't that it is march 1st um i am out of my house it's like 10 21 in the morning I have a bonnet on. I just threw some clothes on so that I can take all of those things that I was going to give away to storage because at some point things got mixed up. So I'm about to do that. I'm going to go grab me a green juice first because I've been doing like green juices every every morning. And although it's Tuesday, my housekeeper came today instead of her regular day, which is tomorrow. So I've been up. Um, I was going to make this vlog like what I eat in a week. But I'll be traveling um, this weekend and it's starting on a Tuesday. So I feel like I'm going to start that next week. What I eat in a week, like a VSG edition. Um, this week, I'm not sure if it's anything that's, well, I'm interesting. So there is that. But um, it's Sean's birthday on Saturday. So I'm going to be like getting his gifts and stuff like that. Um, I have this project I'm working on in my house. I need to see, I need to go find some frames. I wanted these gold and silver frames, but I haven't been able to find them. So I may have to do black and white. I mean, black frames, which I mean, it's not bad but i would prefer like a mixed metal frame so maybe i should google that so yeah this week is basically going to be like me preparing for sean's birthday we're going away so we're going to alabama and then from alabama we're driving to atlanta so yeah i'm gonna go get me a green juice oh i'm going to starbucks today they have like a toasted vanilla shaken espresso and you know your girl loves some vanilla. Um, so I'm going to get that. But I'm going to get me a green juice first. Like how you start is, you know, how you start and how you finish. Well, no, it's it's how you finish that matters or something like that. Anyway, go and go get me a green juice and um, take this stuff to storage. And uh, yeah. Happy new month. Happy new week. So I got a green goddess juice. It has spinach banana green tea ginger mint and green apple and coconut water and i make this at home minus the ginger the mint and the green tea and i think mine tastes much better it's like food shopping is like my least favorite thing to do um, so I usually do like get Instacart or Prime sent to my house. Um, but you know, Trader Joe's doesn't do Instacart or Prime. And I wanted to try some pine berries and I also get my flowers. I'm going to do like floral arrangements in my house this week. So I'm about to go on Trader Joe's and I'm going to go to Whole Foods because Sean said he wanted some spaghetti and then I'm going to go to Acme, three markets in one day. I'm going to go to Acme because they have this bacon by um, Peter Luger, um, this thick cut bacon. I don't even know if I want to go to all of them. Like, I feel like I just want to order them. So I don't know, but I'm at Trader Joe's right now. So that's where I'm about to go. And then we will see about the others because food shopping wins over me every time. I'm just, I don't like it at all. At
you can't really see my flowers in the back, but $72 worth of flowers later. Oh, I bought coconut water. So $70 worth of flowers later. I'm just ordering my other groceries. Clearly, I don't. <laughs> I mean, they're beautiful and um, they'll probably last me like probably almost two weeks. Like I'm pretty good with that. So, but I'm just ordering my other groceries and just have them sent to my house because um, yeah, I don't feel like going to no other stores. So, about to go home and make these bouquets. I'm excited about that. I just want my house to be bright and cheery and welcoming and flowers. And if you did not watch my Valentine's Day vlog, go watch it. Um, Trader Joe's flowers, a dozen of roses, $8.99. Not no $14.99 like they were selling them on Valentine's Day. And these roses are way better. Way better. So I already made one of the floral arrangements. I made a reel, so you already know. Go to the Untamed Socialite on Instagram and see the reel. Um, I'm gonna show it to you. Hold on, let me show you. Isn't she cute? Isn't she pretty? My plant back there, I don't know if y'all seen it a little bit, but I gotta bring them back to life or get new ones. This was actually my first time using these kind of flowers. These are mum, 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 mum berry, mum flowers. Um, it was my first time using them and I like them. I think it's pretty. I mean, it's not perfect. I'm no florist, but it's cute. It's definitely, definitely cute. Now I'm gonna do um, my two roses i want roses by my front door when you first walk in and then some roses on my counter so i'm about to do that and um yeah i love going to trader joe's and buying flowers i mean i enjoy when my husband buys me flowers too but i really like making my own floral arrangements because you get to pick your own colors and usually i just do roses and i'm like oh it's a floral arrangement so today i was like let me try something new so but it came out beautifully so um yeah let me do these um roses and um show you how to do it Here are my flowers in the vestibule. I wanted to do like white and yellow um, because they're like peace colors and welcoming, but I love color and yellow is not enough color for me. This jar right here, I'm gonna write, take what you need on there and um, do like little messages to people. I'm gonna sit down when I come back from Atlanta and like write little messages to our guests that they can take when they leave like, um, you know, I don't know, Bible verses or something like that. And let me move this over so, you know, you can see the welcome to Coleman Castle. And that's that. I mean, I'm no florist, but I think they look really pretty and it's very inviting. Um, I just got to clean up some of the stuff that's under the table. Like I have masks and stuff under this table and I just need to clean them up then i'm trying to so i want to do this like ancestry wall here so these are masks that we've gotten um i got that in saloon um sean got that from somewhere and i got these two when we were in cancun and we went to chichen Itza, um the mayan ruins so i want to do an ancestry wall right on here. this wall and this is like right as you leave my entryway and i'm trying to decide if i'm going to do the frames gold or silver i don't want to do them silver i saw these like silver and gold frames like these mixed metal frames in home goods a while ago and of course they don't have them anymore and i really want to do this before sean's birthday as like a surprise to him because i want to honor both of our ancestors so i don't know i don't want to do black i just feel like black is just i don't know i'll probably just end up doing gold um, because the table over here is gold. Now this photo right here is silver. Um, and this bench down here is silver. 
Um, but I just feel like if I did the gold, it would tie the golden at the table and like the foot, the feet on my furniture is gold. I have a gold mirror in my living room. So I feel like that would be perfect. Um, and then I was going to do silver and gold, but I just think that's too, I don't think that would look great. I really, really don't, but I'm gonna put the gold up first and then see how they look. And if they, or maybe I will try gold and silver. I just think that the gold and silver frames together was much better than just the gold. I don't know. Maybe I'll do gold and silver, like one gold, one silver. But then how do you decide who's gold and who's silver? You don't want to offend any of the ancestors because they are all protecting you. So let me turn this back around. But yeah, like you don't want to offend any of the ancestors because they're all protecting you. So how do you, you know, and I have a silver. So I don't know. I might do one gold, one silver, one gold, one silver. I might try that and see how I like it. And then if I don't like it, then I'll decide on what color to make all of them. I think I'm going to do it that way. I think I'm going to do it that way. I don't know. I may just do it all gold and then find like, just leave it that way. We'll see. I'm going to do it this week. So we'll see. So I didn't record me doing the last one, but this is how it came out. Um, the secret to your flowers lasting long is the ice cold water um, and putting the pack in there. I have a friend, well, we're not friends anymore. I have a girl that I know who put bleach in her flowers, like a cap full of bleach. When she said that to my flowers, they died. So I don't know if that was just her energy or if the bleach killed them, but I wouldn't try that. This has worked for me. Um, these pink roses were pretty, but... Some of them, I had to throw away one of them. It was like bent. And then some of the leaves on the other ones had turned. And that's just the thing with Trader Joe flowers is that sometimes they're great. And then other times they are like womp womp, which is probably why the um, Valentine's Day flowers are more expensive because they were probably like the good ones, the great ones. So yeah, I am loving these flower arrangements. It just brings life to your home. Um... And I'm not even sure where I like started liking flowers. Let me turn um, around. I'm not even sure where I started liking flowers. Like my mom is not a flower person. My aunt was allergic to them. So probably a movie that I saw that a girl was like, you know, um, oh, a man needs to shower me with flowers. And then that's probably where I came up with it. And it just stuck because I happen to like them. Good morning. It is Thursday, March the 3rd. I did not record yesterday. I was not at all in the mood. I had a panic attack on Tuesday night because yesterday was Wednesday and I was just so defeated yesterday and just so down. Um, at some point, I'm going to talk about my mental health journey here and I will, you know, talk about panic attacks and all those things. But today I am getting ready for Sean's birthday. His birthday is on Saturday and we're traveling tomorrow actually. So here's his first round of birthday gifts. Let me show you guys what I did. So backstory, we don't have, we have one, no, we have magnets in our house, which are pictures of us and we have picture like when we went to Mexico and then like my favorite picture of us um which I feel like is it a no I didn't make it into a magnet because it's yeah I did so it's on our bed stand and it's a magnet um so I decided that Sean doesn't have very many pictures of his family um so I decided to do like an ancestry wall for both of our ancestors um and I found some pictures of his family that he had and got them like printed out like you know we keep stuff on our phones and stuff so I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm gonna show you guys his reaction because I cooked him breakfast and made him stay in the room while the super came and hung everything up so this is our ancestry wall and this is Sean's grandmom this is my great grandmom and great grandfather my great grandmom my grandmom my aunt pam 
my mom, my second mom, my mom, um, his mom and stepmom, his mom and one of his like spiritual um, like leaders, I would say. She really, really helped us a lot when we first got married. And then my brother, um, I didn't realize that it was nine photos. So my brother's photo will go here. And it is right here. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I hope that he likes it. I will link the frames down below. Um, this is beautiful. Like, this is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Say good morning. Good morning. Come on. Just come on. I wonder if I should blindfold you. Oh, do people finally get to see your face? Remember before you had a mask on? Where you get these other photos from? Oh, it's so dope. Oh, this is dope. Look at my mommy. <laughs> hey, fam, mom. That's your Greek lady. Mm hmm. This is dope. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what you want to say to the people? That my wife is dope in real life. You see my wall? That's our ancestors' wall. Isn't it beautiful? My granny, her great granny, and granny, all the important people in our lives that have transitioned and are now our ancestors that are on the other side protecting us. This is dope. I told you, my wife is dope in real life, not just on social media. She's fucking dope. I love you, baby. So I am at the mall. Um getting Sean some cologne I had to come all the way I don't even know if this is like Long Island I think it is I know nothing nothing about New York um I had to come all the way here because they had it and I was going to do a pickup order but before we went to Mexico last year I did a pickup order from this mall and it took like two days or three days and pickup is supposed to be like the next day that you ordered or within two hours so i am here um i need to find some lunch before i go to school because i'm hungry and i bought my lunch with me like my dinner but i need to find something to eat now hopefully they have a chick-fil-a it's like one of these fancy malls. I like this mall because I love Neiman's and they have Neiman's. Um, but it's very fancy. Very, very fancy. saw you in like the more expensive mall because child they don't have them people trying to spray you with everything
I'm just looking. Thank you. I will definitely let you know. Thank you. I guess I must have been too comfortable spraying, but that um, vetiver stuff smelled really, really good. They don't have. so many fragrance houses I want to try. There's the stuff I got for Valentine's Day. I think I got Oud of Greatness. But there are so many other fragrance houses that I want to try. I didn't come to go to this store anyway, so let me find the store. That, that smells really good. Let me find the store that I came here for. Rich Mall when it got Hermes. The Hermes store is coming spring 2022. to find the store. I really hope they have what I'm looking for. all the way off. <sighs> Yo, the fact that they like, they treat like black people like we steal, like that really just bothers me. Uh -uh. I don't know, she just made me mad. <laughs> she just made me really, really mad, like her demeanor and her attitude and then her laziness, not wanting to record what it says is in stock, like. I had a whole attitude. And now I'm deep and going out the store. You gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Here. I'm not sure why I beef going out. I just purchased this, so thank you. <laughs> this was definitely a shit experience, and I don't want to come back to this Nordstrom ever. <laughs> No, the lady was very rude and fragrant. And then to add insult to injury, she left that tab on my thing. Fucking pissed off, yo. <clears throat> yeah, from there on, I would just go to Neiman. <laughs> I don't have these kind of problems there. <laughs> Though, I wish you could see my face, like my, like my face through this mask, because literally pissed off. Pissed off. So, I don't like this mall. This trip was a bust.
I'm gonna talk when I get in the car. I just wanna get out of here. I'm annoyed, like, really annoyed. <laughs> but yeah. I'm ready to go home. See, I should have went in there like this with these sunglasses on. So I could have looked like one of the damn twins from off of um, Bad Girls Club. Because that lady in there had me fucked up. So, all right. I'm trying to make a long story short because I know I'm long too. I came all the way to Roosevelt Field Mall because, um, remember on Valentine's Day, I got Sean those little, per um, um, they're not, girl, get your life together. I got Sean those little fragrances, those colognes. I wanted to buy him one ounce bottles, not because, you know, the price of the bigger bottles, but because he travels a lot and traveling for work or whatever, he would have the one ounce bottles that he can carry with him. And if he stays longer, because those little tubes, they don't really last long, right? So I looked online. They said that they had it here at Nordstrom's so I could do a pickup. In the beginning of me coming here, I already told you my story. I did a pickup before. It took them like two days to get my pickup order together. Crazy is that when they finally got it together, I was in Mexico, child. Couldn't pick up nothing. So I said, okay. So I come here. So at first, I'm just kind of looking around. And I got my camera out or whatever. Not You saw the B-roll. I just did some B-roll. And then I'm looking. So the lady comes up. And I should have recorded this. She was like... Can I help you? Like, she was just very aggressive. And so, I was like, sure. And so, I said, I'm online. It said that you had X, Y, and Z. So, she tried to give me the big bottle. And I was like, no, the one ounce bottles. So, she was like, oh, we don't have those. And I was like, but it says online that you do. So, that had already pissed me off. Then, she finds the one ounce bottles, right? And now... She doesn't feel like looking through them. So she's like, oh, I don't have that one. I have one, but I don't have the other. Because the one that the first one was on the top. So I'm like, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, you ever have an experience that just frazzles the f out of you? And I'm not sure if it's because I'm hungry. I've only had one slice of bacon and a protein shake all day. You know, I just think, I don't know. But, so, okay, anyway. So, I'm like, you know, telling her what it says to do a pickup online. And her demeanor was very rushed. She was very rude. Um, and I was just kind of like, okay, I'll just get the one. So, then I was going to get the big bottle of one and a little bottle of the other. And I was like, but no, like, I like things to be aesthetically pleasing. Hold on right back so i look a little bit crazy when i was editing this i realized that i did not finish telling the story of what happened in nordstrom's um so the lady really did not want to look for what i was um trying to get that said it was in stock she was very loud and i don't like when i'm in a department store and someone is like a worker and not because they're a worker i don't like people to yell at me period my mother does not yell at me my father does not yell at me so for this lady in the store she's like yelling and i'm not deaf i can hear you um and then like her not wanting to look for the thing and then i'm like well it says you have it in stock then looking for it and then finding one of the things um but not finding the other because the one that she did find was at the top of the drawer she did not want to look through the drawer then what pissed me off pissed me off is like she got this attitude because i didn't want to buy the big bottle right and then when we got to the register, she was like, so are you getting this? And I was like, yeah. So we got to the register and I put my card in and I am a debit card girl. I know I should start using my credit cards. I have credit cards, whatever. Another story for another day. But when I put my card in, she was like, and I was going to put my 
pin number in. She was like, oh, you don't need to do that. And then press cancel before I could even say anything or do anything. Press cancel. So that went through like that. I don't know if I had to sign or not. I don't remember signing. Um, but I may have signed. I like at that point I was seeing red, and then she smashed my receipt in the bag, slid the bag to me, and walked away. You talk about pissed off. Then when I went back to because I looked online again I went back like a dummy because I really wanted my husband to have this cologne and he doesn't have it right I went back to go um get help from someone else and she was like um are you coming back for the big one from across somewhere else and I'm like no I'm not I'm looking for something different because at that point I was looking for a different fragrance just in the smaller size. Then I told the guy like, hey, they're down here. That's where you could find them. She was like, oh, she knows where they are because I helped her. <laughs> and I was like, can you get away from me? And she just walked off because like, why are you here? So that's what happened. And I will never return to the Nordstrom's in Roosevelt Mall again. That's how I feel about them. I think I caught a little bit of my time in Memphis. 
I feel like I, I caught enough of it. Memphis, Birmingham, country is country. Um, and then, yeah, by the time we got in the house last night, I ate a little bit more of my food and then was like out of it. Um, we actually set an alarm to get up at midnight uh, to celebrate Sean's birthday and we both were like, good night. So, um, we're on our way to go get Manny's and Petty's and then we're going to hit up the mall and then go back and get ready for dinner. Um, Sean already opened the gift. I didn't record it because I was tired, but he got some Tom Ford frames. Um, and he had asked for, and then his other gift will be here on Monday and we, me and you, won't uh, see it, but yeah. So, I'll take you along on the ride with us. We in this nail salon, and the baby says, do y'all, yeah, do y'all work on the VIP room? So I'm like, okay, sure. So, a nail salon with a VIP room? Okay, let me show you their massage chair. So they're, they're I've never seen a massage chair like this. Like, look, I'm gonna show you the shots in one. Whatever you need, you can start finding the reason that got me down the steps like your granny. Sean thinks I'm drunk from the nail salon. They gave me two glasses of red wine. So he was trying to lead me down the steps. I'm not drunk. I'm a little tipsy, not drunk. <laughs> Atlanta is pretty cool. So far, so good. So let me show you what I'm wearing today. I look like a bum. I do. I mean, I got on this little sheet and set with my little half shirt from Target. And some sneakers. And my $5 shades from Amazon. I mean. <laughs> okay, so maybe I have a little, a little tipsy. It's just a little. Point, I'm gonna get this vlogging thing right. So it is Sunday, March the 6th. Um, I, we did not go out last night after we left the mall. We got Chick fil A because they say the chicken tastes better in Atlanta or something. Chick fil A tastes better in Atlanta. And I don't eat chicken except for like from Chick fil A. So it was okay. Um, yeah, I know I'm weird. <laughs> As Sean says, you only eat chicken in the South. So yeah, I'm weird in that way. Um, we're about to get ready to go out to dinner. Um, I can't wait for Sean to get out the shower so I can have him show y'all what I have on. Um, and yeah, this is probably like the worst vlog I've ever done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I promise to try to get better at this. But yeah, I'm about to get ready for dinner. And then, um, well, I'm getting ready for dinner. And I have on that Giorgio Armani foundation. I actually like it. It looks very skinny and I, I like it. But yeah, um, I think that was all. So I'll show you my outfit in a few. And 
I don't know if I'm gonna show y'all while we're at dinner, maybe do like some B-roll, but you know, I like those kind of things intimate. But it's been pretty boring, honestly. Like, I'm like, oh, this is boring. I'm not really doing anything big, so. But whatever. Let me show y'all my outfit. I just want y'all to see my outfit. Um, I got these leggings from Fashion Nova. This whole set is from outfits from Fashion Nova. My shoes are from Fashion Figure. Um, these leggings were in my last vlog where I opened up all the stuff for my Sin News video. So yeah. So we're back from STK. I love how this foundation held up. Like it really, I like it. I'm gonna keep trying it, but I really like it. Um, STK was cute. It wasn't as fancy as we thought it was gonna be. Like I was, you know, mama dressed up, okay? You know, so we thought it was gonna be a bit more fancier than what it was, but it was not. And the food was, the food was okay. It was, I would give it seven stars out of 10. Um, not necessarily nothing that I'm like, oh my God, I miss such and such. Like. Sullivan's love their crab cakes. You know what I'm saying? No, not Sullivan's. Eddie V Primes love their crab cakes. Like, this was a place we said we like the corn pudding, the maple bacon appetizer. And that was pretty it. We thought it was going to be a bit fancier, but we had a really, really good time. Um, next time we go, because we did say we're going to go again and try to sit in the back part, which is like a different ambiance. So if you're ever in Atlanta, the STK, make sure you tell them you want to sit in the booths in the back. The ambiance was a bit different. And um, yeah, um, I'm going to end this vlog here and I will see you guys next week. Smooches.